What's good guys, we're going to be doing a Warzone head-to-head -head maps tier list. Never been done before, nobody, uh, it's original idea, I know, this is a super original idea. But now Vondal's come out, I want to give my first impressions, chuck it amongst the list, the list and just see where it fares. And we're going to do this alphabetical order, starting with Ashika. Let's grab that and we're going to chuck it in one of the tiers above. So this had a lot of pressure riding on that because this is the map that came in straight after Rebirth, essentially. We'd had no Rebirth map or resurgence map until this one in warzone 2 this was the map we had to play instead of rebirth island so good luck to it it came in in a straight b tier i wasn't saying that this map was amazing you need to play it it looked amazing it really did look amazing but it just didn't play amazing it just had i believe the waterways was its biggest downfall it is, still is their biggest downfall you pop a UAV and there's red dots above and below you. Of course, there's people redeploying, flying back in, but there's people below you underneath underneath the ground. It makes the minimap kind of confusing and makes it pushing teams a little bit tricky. I don't like the fact that there is hardly any roads. It's just all mountainous sort of rocky stuff. I feel that is the biggest failing of Caldera, but they've brought that failing through to Sheikah Island. I'm not a big fan of the Twins building. There's not many places that I regularly land and enjoy. Maybe residential is probably the best one, but yet again, there's a lot of verticality unnecessarily. It's again an island which is up towards the middle. I don't think that's necessary. I feel like any you just land in the middle and then fall down on people. That's what happens. So Ashika Island, I'm afraid, is a B tier lease. A, P, a B tier. Let's get out of here. Let's move on to Caldera. I'm not going to go mad. I'm going to go straight in with a D tier. Not a big fan. Just so you know, this is a video full of opinions. I do understand that this is not going to be met by everybody. Personally, I, I will be honest, I did not enjoy Caldera at all. I only got a handful of wins. I barely even played it. It was straight to Rebirth Island the moment I could leave it. And I enjoyed the previous large Warzone map. Of course, that was Verdansk. But I never enjoyed Caldera. I believe that, again, is because one of the main things about Warzone was the ve vehicles to me. I found them really fun to play around with. And that was what shown off in Verdansk. It was all roads. It was all cityified, essentially. But even in the roads out in the back, you know, down in sort of farms area in Verdansk, Caldera was that everywhere. There's hardly any decent city gunfights, city scapes. I just didn't enjoy it. The look of it was really poor on old gen consoles. I was playing it on PS4, so that's probably my fault. But I really couldn't determine, like, how how players would stand out. I couldn't quite see them well enough. I didn't enjoy that. The fact that visibility was really tricky and a few of my mates just didn't enjoy it so they went straight back to Rebirth Island the moment it was available. The map wasn't fun for me. Just one huge mountain and then you fly down from there and then you pick on other players that just that momentum is everything. You get your stuff at the top, fly down and then you can go anywhere you want and basically dominate players with your AVs. I really didn't like that map and it had a lot of pressure on it. Of course, we were all so excited for it. It came in full of lots of trees and foliage and bushes unnecessarily. It caused a lot of strain on all consoles. I know it's not their fault. They didn't want to release it on PS4. They would have thought everyone would be on PS5 and Xbox S stuff by now. But what do they know? They, they released it on both consoles and it turned out to be pretty poorly played on those old gen consoles. Not a big fan of it. Uh, then we had Fortune's Keep up coming up next. Fortune's Keep was I'm gonna go straight in with a C tier. I it had a lot of a lot more riding on this because really passionate players were thinking like this is gonna replace Rebirth Island. We couldn't play Rebirth when this map first came out. We had to play it instead of Rebirth. So what was a, what we're we gonna do? We're gonna judge it and we feel like it wasn't up there. It wasn't high enough. So my big problem with Fortune's Keep, sorry to start this net this map list negatively, was I never really liked it because that insane verticality was there was literally three levels to this map. There's higher levels inside the buildings, there was the ground level, and then there was waterways underneath. There was just unusual cave systems which didn't need to be there. There was already enough spaces for people to have gunfights, and I really can't believe they haven't learned from Piccadilly. The worst map in history, which is left, right, all over the place. People up there, down there, they're everywhere. People like head-on gunfights. They like to see who they're going to go up against and how they can approach a gunfight. We love that. It's a really satisfying feeling when you win. You're not taking anyone by surprise. It's just head-on. You both lose a bit of health. 
whoever wins is probably the better player or had a better gun. I don't know. Whatever happens, it's better to have a gunfight head on than shoot someone or more annoyingly get shot in the back or the side. And this map led to so much randomly getting killed from somewhere you're not even looking. They really took it to an extreme with this cliffside. I can't think of what the area was called. Look at the amount of places you could stand and snipe from this building here. You look out this window, look at this. It was all over. Any time you'd go down there, the only area that was that was like a building site, if, if you like, was just absolutely littered with incredible amounts of hiding spaces. And you'd never want to pop your head out. You just wouldn't do it. So it led to a lot of people just camping and waiting. And it, I just the, the gameplay style just wasn't it. Uh, I really like that castle area. That was probably the only area that I enjoyed gunfighting. The teams would push together, play really well. But again, that had five levels. It was ridiculous. So many levels above you and below you. I just hands up, man. You know what I'm saying. I'm not a massive fan of it. Let's move on to Rebirth Island. Rebirth Island has a lot to compare with. Honestly, the best map, in my opinion, of all time in any game I've ever played. This is the best map you can play. I really rate this map, obviously. The reason I really like it is it has such a simple balance to old gen and new gen. They haven't actually stretched out how much they have to fill it with rubbish or bookcases with plants and overhanging trees ledges windows it was just a very simple map every poi had just a couple of entrance points and exit points i like that it made you feel safe if you were late like if you were quite unquote camping in those places but at the same time if you were going to attack it there was only a number of ways they would look out at you I meaning you could chuck stuff in in just a number of ways i really like that that was one of the simplest things i like about the map super simple it wasn't too high as well. There's only a tiny bit of verticality in the prison. Obviously, inside the prison cells, that was a crazy place to have gunfights. But you can, again, it's only a small area of the map. The rooftop, landing on the roof, nice and flat, perfect. There was an area for vehicles to roll around inside though. There was helicopters as well. The map just played perfectly fine. I really, really enjoyed it and it led to me wanting to make more YouTube content because the map was so much fun. Such a rewarding feeling for winning gas plays as well the map just looked great they had one change to it of course when they had the evening uh, version with zombies and they also changed uh the little um control that was what it was called they added control but they could have very easily just re-released rebirth island with some subtle changes that would have made warzone 2 amazing just revisit rebirth island and upgrade it and what i mean by that is you change some of the windows you can get into change for example this stairwell here i'll put it on screen this little stairwell why not have a window facing out to grandma's house but then you block up one of the entrances down below subtle changes to the map would lead it to feel like a bit different but we all know our way around it there was absolutely nothing wrong with this this is a this is such a good map so activision do something about this stop teasing us you're annoying me bring it back for god's sake right up next verdansk I'm going to say it right now, Verdansk is a brilliant map. Now, you may think, oh, we, we look back, of course, it was amazing times we played on that map. Now, the map was really well balanced. There's a reason why we all played it so, so much. And I feel that was simplicity. It was released on last gen consoles. So they kept it simple. They, You could see where an enemy was. You could see on the mini map where enemies' vehicles were. Traversing the place with regards to helicopters and cars, it meant that all those vehicles were super, super valuable, so people had to use them. Whereas the redeployment, as much as a redeployment in that balloon is fun, it leads to you getting landed on and you've got no clue where they're coming from. They just land on you and just punish you. It makes it very, very difficult to sort of move around the map, essentially, without you being like secretly spied on and boom you're now getting done over with vehicles you knew what was coming it led to some amazing clips a lot of fun running people over you know when they didn't actually see it coming it led to quite a balanced way to traverse the map because one of the most the hardest things about battle royale which i still struggle with is understanding where enemies are they just they could be anywhere and when it comes to redeployment balloons that didn't really appear in Verdansk. Uh, they just made it very, very tricky to see where enemies are. Oh, there's a team over there. All of a sudden, the real deployment balloon has meant that's now false information. They're now not there. So with Verdansk, favorite areas would be the prison. I enjoyed landing there. Um, there's farms. That was quite a nice area at the back there. That was perfect for vehicles and those quad bikes moving around, looting, stuff like that. Downtown, that tall, that tall building, 
uh, that was pretty crazy. That was the only place that you could land and then get some loot and then land elsewhere. They'd zip up the top and then fly off. Other than that, that was it was all pretty flat, which led to you had to use vehicles to get around. And I think the vehicles made such a difference between that and multiplayer. That's probably why it hit so hard. I'm not talking about the, the pandemic and everyone had to play together. I'm saying the map was actually quite good. I, I really rate most of the left-hand side you see on the map there. From Boneyard, um, Super, of course. It just felt like this map was more multiplayer maps, but you wouldn't get done as much from the sides. It was pretty much... I don't know how they would do that, but they led to a lot of... On the same level, you're looking in the right direction, and the verticality was less uh, apparent. We all know in Battle Royale, height is going to get you the win, essentially, because you're going to always back off from a gunfight whenever you wanted to. That really didn't appear as much inside Verdansk, in my opinion. It was meant you'd have to really forward think your gameplay to get to that vertical situation, whereas every other map on that list, minus Rebirth, getting that height advantage could be at any minute. There's, there's buildings with zip stairs, redeployment balloons. You've got height advantage all the time. There's always someone taking your height advantage away from you, which led to just some unsettling gameplay, if I'm honest. So Verdansk A tier really is a good map. They, they hit it well, you know, back then. Let's finish the video off with a bit of a rating for Vondale. What are we going to do here? I've got one in every tier slot now. So far, this map has been um, a lot of water gunfights, um, a lot of stairwell, a lot of shotguns, and a lot of sniping. Kind of a weird map in the fact that if you like sniping and shotguns, you're going to love this map. So maybe I should start taking a sniper into this gameplay because it seems like the kind of map that would really suit it because it is all... You want to get as high as you can, everyone's going to get as high as they can because of height advantage, and then what do you know, you're on the rooftops and they're going to gunfight against someone across there. You can't finish them off because they've died below the little ledge. Such a weird map. I mean, a lot of water. To be fair, not as much water as I was expecting. I thought the water, according to this picture, there's a lot of water in the map. But actually, there isn't that much water. You, you don't have that many gunfights in water, essentially. Again, they've gone mental with the verticality. I don't think that's a trend that's going to go away. I don't know why they keep in introducing it. It leads to me getting shot from places that I just can't predict. There's just infinite places for places like people to be. Keep it level. I don't understand what's wrong with that. If get people up there with one way up and they stay up there. Okay, well, they have to come down because there's nothing up there. That's what really what it should be. All the main shops, all the main um, ways to get players back should be down on the ground, heads up, gunfights like that. So Vondel does take it a bit mad with the verticality as well. Um, I'm going to give this one a uh, an A tier. No, I, I, I'm not. I, I'm going to say A tier. I think this is a very good map that I think has potential, but only if you like the gameplay that it forces you to use essentially. So that long range, from rooftop to rooftop, or very close. So it's a little bit of crazy. I'm really struggling with the redeployment balloons again. They're just sending players all over the place. You feel you're safe for one second and then someone lands on you and you're like, well, how'd that happen? They've got a shotgun naturally and they just beat the shit out of you. So that's the tier list from A to D. My name's Gabba. Subscribe for more content and maybe drop a like. Please comment down below if you agree with any of these tiers. What would you change? My name's Gabba. Let's focus on the next gameplay. Peace out.